Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are going to be talking about the brand new movie Spencer, directed by Pablo Lorraine, starring Kristen Stewart. It's about the story of Princess Diana, or rather not the story of Princess Diana, you know, to the public eye, all the stories that you already know about her, but rather who she was behind closed doors. And this was a movie that was very, very highly anticipated on my list, especially in the more recent months because of the, the reactions to this movie from different film festivals. Honestly, I didn't really know the true story of Princess Diana until recently, you know, I, I didn't really know the history of it and so that's not the reason why I was excited for this movie and I think that's part of the reason why I love this movie so much because it's a very contained personal character study of this woman throughout only three days of her life. So if you're looking for a biopic that you know does the, her entire life from you know when she was born to when she dies and, and all that you know aspects of her life that's not what you're going to get out of this movie. This is a very contained movie. It all takes place in this palace yet it feels so claustrophobic because of the direction of this movie. This movie is gorgeous from the cinematography in specific because this movie was shot on film the style of it the look of it the, the aspect ratio was very much 90s it felt like it was made in the time the production design was perfect and just the style of it was amazing and yet you're in these massive sets these this incredible palace that she's you know living in throughout these three days yet you feel so contained and claustrophobic because of for one the performance from Kristen Stewart which I'll get into into in a second here but really I have to praise the direction of this movie because it makes every single corridor that she's walking through just seem so like it's closing in on her this you know pearl necklace that she wears throughout the movie feels like it's choking her it, it just the movie feels like you're in her shoes and you're feeling the weights on her shoulders and all the scrutiny around her even though she's just trying to have you know, the freedom that she deserves as, you know, a human, because it really does paint her as a human, not the persona that you see in the tabloids and all those different things that you see as the celebrity, as the icon, as the royalty that she is, but rather as the person who she was. And so that brings me to Kristen Stewart. She is magnetic in this film. I cannot keep my eyes off of her. She is incredible. This is one of her, definitely one of her best performances. I've not seen a lot of her indie films. I, I did see Personal Shopper and I do love that movie, but I, I've seen, honestly, I've seen more Robert Pattinson, you know, indie movies ever since the, the whole Twilight thing. I've seen more of his movies than I've seen of her movies, and she is brilliant in this movie and that's what I've heard about her performance in this but that cannot be stated enough because like I said that whole you know selling point of how trapped she feels in this massive mansion that really is heavily on the director but it's mostly on the shoulders of Kristen Stewart and the way she performs in this role is not only just really you know relatable in a sense because you know me of all people relating to you know this woman who's a royalty she's in this lavish lifestyle yet her, her character is somehow so relatable to even me that, that is just testimony to both the writing of this film and the performance from Kristen Stewart the levity that she has in the scenes with her children are some of my favorite scenes in the entire movie because that's when she can truly be herself that's when you feel like you're actually watching who Princess Diana was and then you have those other scenes in the bathroom where you know she's struggling with her de the depression and her bulimia and all these different things that are extremely hard to watch and you feel so bad for what she's going through when everybody around her just kind of feels like they're ignoring her problems, ignoring what she needs, ignoring all these things around her that she desperately needs for her to, you know, live a life that is worth living for her. And that's what this movie is truly about. I loved Sally Hawkins in this film as a supporting character and her being, you know, her only friend that she can truly talk to, I thought was brilliant. And I love the scene on the beach where they're talking about who Princess Diana will be remembered as. What, what, what would the... I guess moniker that she would be given to because as time goes on they're remembered for shorter and shorter and shorter things like you know Henry the Conqueror or whoever I don't know if it's King Henry or whoever it was as the example that she gives in this movie but who will she be remembered as and we know that she's remembered as the princess of hearts or you know the, the people's princess or whatever you want to call her throughout history what will she be remembered as and that's what they have discussion of in this movie, but that doesn't matter to Sally Hawkins' character because she loves the person that she sees on a daily basis, the, the actual personality that she has, the person that she knows as you know her behind closed doors in those very personal moments of getting ready in the morning and getting dressed and all these sort of things. 
I love that that scene really encapsulates what this movie is truly about. I love that scene. Sean Harris and Timothy Spall were also shining bright spots in this film. I loved their characters and especially Sean Harris having kind of like he was he's the chef that is you know kind of in charge of the entire kitchen aspect of this entire uh, I guess royalty thing that the entire like lavish aspects of this movie is so incredible like so just over the top to me like who lives like that it's kind of insane it's so out of reach yet you know this character really whenever he had conversations with diana those sort of scenes were like really brought everybody down to earth it brought everybody down to like an even playing field and really made the humanity of these characters really present honestly if i'd compare this movie to anything else i'd compare it to the portrait of a lady on fire which if you saw my review for that you know that i absolutely love that film every frame of it is a gorgeous painting in that film and i would say the same thing for this one and the performances are incredible on both of those films and that is what i truly compare this movie to it's a really deep character study just throughout three days of her life all these things that you see in a normal biopic throughout her entire life if you were to do a normal biopic of princess diana all of that would be kind of stated to you rather than you seeing it all within subtext that was, that's what this movie is it is all subtext all this beautifully written and directed and acted you know it's just story of who she was behind closed doors and that is what i absolutely loved about this film so if you guys have not seen spencer i highly recommend it there the ending was just so perfect the freeing aspect of what that character wanted so badly I just was rooting for her the entire time and I felt bad for her the entire time and once she gets that sense of freedom that she's been fighting for, that is just so satisfying by the end of this movie. I was completely mesmerized by this film. Every single second of this movie, I was so just invested in it. So I highly, highly recommend you guys see this. I loved it. I hope you guys do too. If you don't, I un honestly understand because I think it's not exactly what people expect out of a biopic for Princess Diana, but for what it was, for how focused it was on her character, that is exactly what I wanted from this film. So thanks guys for watching this video on the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to see reviews just like this one. If you want to see my review for Portrait Lady on Fire, I will link that one as well on this video. If you guys like the video, leave it a like. Comment down below what you guys thought of Spencer. I'm really interested to hear what you guys thought of this movie. Loved it or hated it? I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are. So thanks guys for watching this video and hope to see you all in my next one.